Most people think darts is a boring sport, but so many funny moments happen that are unforgettable. And in this video, we show you the most hilarious moments out there. In a memorable clash at the world match play, darting legend Phil Taylor showcased his unrivaled skills as he claimed a record-breaking 15th title. Facing off against Michael Van Gerwen, Taylor left no room for doubt about his dominance on the hockey. The match began with Taylor swiftly surging ahead, establishing a commanding 7-1 lead. What was expected to be a thrilling showdown between two giants of the sport turned into a rather one-sided affair, leaving fans in awe of Taylor's virtuoso performance. With an average score of over 107, he demonstrated why he's considered one of the greatest darts players of all time. Van Gerwen, though facing an uphill battle, managed to hold his throw in the second leg. However, he had to wait until the ninth leg to secure another victory, offering only a brief respite. Taylor swiftly regained his momentum, winning the following four legs consecutively, leaving Van Gerwen on the verge of defeat. In the 11th leg, Taylor delivered an impressive display of precision, clinching it in just 11 darts. Not content with that, he then proceeded to take out a remarkable 121 checkout in the next leg, solidifying his imminent coronation as the champion of the tournament. The Winter Gardens, a venue he has made his own, witnessed yet another glorious victory for Taylor. In a rare moment of resistance, Van Gerwen managed to reduce the deficit to 11-5, momentarily thwarting Taylor's relentless march. Notably, during one of his checkouts, Van Gerwen executed a brilliant 127 finish by landing the bullseye. However, there was a moment of confusion as the referee failed to spot this accomplishment, mistakenly overlooking the reigning world champion's successful shot. Bobby George, a 77-year-old darts legend who's never been one to shy away from the limelight. In fact, he's known as one of the game's biggest personalities. When George used to grace the stage with his presence, he would make a grand entrance, adorned in jewellery, wearing a crown and a majestic cloak, while Queen's iconic anthem, We Are The Champions, blared in the background. These theatrics are what makes darts such an entertaining sport to watch, and being a part of the lively crowd adds to the brilliant fun. One unforgettable moment occurred when Bobby Dazzler, a fellow Englishman, scored an impressive 180 right after John Lowe's 140. Bobby confidently strides up to the dartboard, detaches a square hole from his golden silky shirt, and flexes his chest muscles, causing his nipple to bounce up and down in the process. Yes, you read that right. It's a celebration that you simply have to see to believe. Even old Stoneface Low couldn't resist cracking a smile at this comical display. The video quickly caught the attention of darts fans far and wide, sparking a flurry of hilarious comments. One fan hilariously remarked, I didn't think any darts video could come close to Ted Hankey until I saw this from Bobby George. Another fan joked, don't know what they'd say if I did that at Thompson Arms tonight. In a semi-final match between William O'Connor and Daryl Gurney at the Players' Championship 13, a hilarious incident unfolded during the 10th leg. Just when the tension was running high, O'Connor suddenly found himself without one of his dart flights. As both he and the caller frantically searched for it, the missing flight unexpectedly made its appearance in the most amusing manner. It popped up in a truly comical location, leaving everyone involved, including the players and the audience, in fits of laughter. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. Now let's dive into a hilarious incident involving one of the greatest darts players of all time, Michael Van Gerwen. Known for his incredible skill and numerous victories, even Van Gerwen is not immune to the occasional blunder. One such comical mistake took place during the 2020 Celebrity Darts World Cup in Germany. In the star-studded competition, featuring renowned players like Phil Taylor and Fallon Sherrick, Van Gerwen teamed up with handball legend Pascal Hens for the doubles event. Trailing 1-0 in a race to two legs against Max Hopp and Frank Bushman, the pressure was on. To keep their hopes alive, Van Gerwen needed to hit a checkout of 69, a combination he had successfully executed countless times before. Focusing intensely, he aimed for the triple 19, hoping to follow it up with double 11 to complete the finish. With precision, he released the dart, hitting the intended target. Triumphantly, Van Gerwen let out a roar of celebration, thinking he had leveled the game. However, the joyous moment quickly turned into confusion and disbelief. The referee, George Noble, uttered the words that shattered Van Gerwen's excitement. No score. The Dutchman's horror was evident as he realised his miscounting error. Instead of the required 69, he had inadvertently scored 79. It was a hilarious mix-up, and Van Gerwen couldn't help but burst into laughter at his own expense. 
It was a priceless reaction from Van Gerwen, showcasing his ability to take the mishap in stride and find humour in the situation. Later, he revealed that he had mistakenly believed he needed 79 to win the leg. Regardless of the outcome, his ability to laugh off the blunder was commendable. It was a night to forget for Peter Wright at the World Match Play. After a string of impressive performances in the earlier rounds, the Scotsman found himself facing Mensor Suljevic in the semi-finals. However, it quickly became clear that things were not going Wright's way. From the very first dart, it was evident that Lady Luck had abandoned him. With his initial throw, Wright's dart went astray, landing way off the mark and scoring a measly 5 points. The next dart bounced off, and the third dart landed on the first dart, leaving Wright dumbfounded and the crowd in stitches. As he stood there, a mix of shock and disbelief etched across his face. The sheer absurdity of the moment wasn't lost on the darting enthusiasts in attendance. They couldn't help but see the humour in the situation, recognising that even the best players have their off days. Wright, a seasoned professional, must have been taken aback by this unexpected turn of events. After all, he had been riding high on confidence, boasting back-to-back 100-plus -back averages in his previous matches. But in that particular moment, the dartboard seemed to have a different plan in mind, one that involved confounding expectations and eliciting laughter from the crowd. During a high-stakes match at the Grand Slam of Darts, Scottish player Gary Anderson and Dutchman Wesley Harms found themselves in a rather unusual dispute. But this was no ordinary disagreement over scores or technique. This was an accusation that would forever etch their names into the annals of darts history. Both players, with straight faces, accused each other of producing a series of noxious emissions that threatened to derail the entire match. With Anderson ultimately securing a resounding victory of 10-2, Harms wasted no time in pointing fingers and assigning blame. In a post-match interview, he claimed that his opponent had, in fact, broken wind on stage, leaving behind a scent that could only be described as fragrant. A scent that Harms believed affected his performance on the Oki. He even expressed his concern, stating that it would take him two nights to lose this smell from my nose. Quite the aromatic ordeal indeed. But Anderson, not one to be outdone in the art of fart-based accusations, quickly retaliated. He vehemently denied any responsibility and turned the tables on Harms. According to Anderson, the putrid smell that plagued the match was emanating from Harms himself. With a mix of astonishment and candour, Anderson described the odour as eggs, rotten eggs, emphasising that it was definitely not his own doing. Walking past the alleged culprit, he claimed to have been greeted by wafts of the unmistakable stench, leading him to believe that Harms was the true source. The debate continued to escalate, with Harms passionately defending his innocence and swearing upon his children's lives that he was not responsible for the awful tree onslaught. Anderson, known for his frankness, shared that he had indeed farted on stage in the past, but clarified that he had never used it as an advantage. Ha! <laughs> the intricate etiquette of darts. During the 2020 BDO World Championship, a showdown between former champion Martin Adams and the surprise qualifier from Australia, Anthony Fleet. As the match began, it became evident that Fleet was grappling with a case of nerves like no other. The tension in the air was palpable as he clumsily dropped his darts, fumbled with his grip, and even teetered off balance at the hockey. It was a comedy of errors, a scene that left both players and spectators struggling to contain their laughter. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.